So Rydia's tale. Rydia, returning to her second homeland in the Fey March, finds its queen cold and unwelcoming. Suddenly, the Eidolon king and all his subjects freeze, as if turned to stone. Together with Luca, daughter of the Dwarven king, Rydia heads to the Dwarven castle to investigate. Uh, new game plus, please. And let's use this. I if I should hit load. Oh, okay. Nope, just going to start it using this save file. Peaceful days have finally returned to our homeland. We have taken up the goals you strove for in life. I only hope that we will receive your blessing. Really, huh? Grown up all the way. Summoner of Mist, Rydia. Because she grew up in Final Fantasy IV, but... I forget how many years later this is. What's the matter, Rydia? I thought you were supposed to be in the Fey March. Hmm, Edward. Edwardo. How long has it been, Rydia? I'm glad to see you well. What brings you here today? Just trying to do what I can to revive the fortune of this village. But doesn't Damasian have it hard enough right now? Don't worry, Damasian has many citizens to help and aid in its reconstruction. Uh, those of us with power, like Cecil and I, must think about more than just our own lands. We worry over the fate of villages like Mist 2. Cecil 2? Yeah. Your young highness. Eblon Castle. Edgy. Where might you be going? Just for a little training session. I've heard that many of Eblon's great treasures are being sold off for profit. And why not? What's wrong with using Eblon's treasure to help Eblon's recovery? I can only hope that proves to be the case, your young highness. Anyways, I'm off. Of course. I have word that Fabula is providing vast shipments of vital resources too. Even Yang? It was all thanks to your help, Idia, that we all made it through the last war. Oh, don't be silly. Everyone helped each other back then. Again, I think it might have been four years ago that the... Final Fantasy IV happened compared to the sequel. Calm down, Sid. I can't believe you're taking this so lightly, Cecil. She's been at it for half a day now. Is it over yet? Rydia. Here for the big day, huh? Has the baby been born? Oh, so this is like pretty much right after 4 ended. Because this is before... Theodore was even born. Well. Wah, wah. <laughs> so this is Theodore being born. Uh, burned. <laughs> born. And Theodore is actually what? Teenage? In the uh, present day? Yeah. It's a healthy baby boy. You did us proud, Rosa. Thank you, Rosa. Hey. <laughs> So does he have a name? Yes, we've already picked one. Oh, what did you side on? Theodore. I mean, it's very close to Theodore, right? So Theodore is actually the name of his brother, which we found out is actually Gobez, his actual name. So I wonder if he named him after his brother, more or less. Nice to meet you, Theodore. A decade and <laughs> some odd years later. Alright. Fast forward though. Alright. So that would make... Because... 
We learned that in the Fame March, uh, time goes by a lot. Uh, was it faster? So I don't know. Let's see. These kids are looking for Rydia. Hey, where's Rydia? And back to the Fame March. She's off visiting her other homeland. Though she doesn't make it there often any longer. What? Doesn't make it there. Her other homeland. Yes, the Fame March. So I guess she doesn't visit too often. Otherwise, she gets like super old compared to everybody else. That's how she grew up so fast in uh, vanilla. Hmm, she was only gone for what? A very small portion of the game, but she already grew like five years almost, it seemed. Maybe more than that. Again, they never really said what age she is, but. Let's see. Oh, so her alpha got even more revealing than what it was in FF4 when she grew up. Your Majesty. Oh, Rydia, my child. Much time has passed since we last met. Why are you here? Have I not made it clear enough? You are not welcome here in the Fame March anymore. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see everyone. Then you have seen us. Now it's time for you to leave. Jeez. What's that? <laughs> the uh, prologue was not a uh, lion. These people are very cold here. In case you have forgotten, you are not a citizen of the Fame March, Rydia. But, can I at least come back to visit every now and then? You won't even let me do that? We cannot. Rydia is like a child to us. Surely it wouldn't hurt to let her come by. So it's just the queen that's crazy. <laughs> oh, this is what happened in the uh, previous... Uh, tail at the end of it. What is it? No, my dear reader, you must leave here at once. What? Why all of it? Why all of a sudden? There's nothing to fear. Oh, yeah. Teleported. Because, yeah. What do you want? There's this mysterious girl in white, and that's been, uh, doing random stuff and uh, we actually saw last time with uh, Theodore's tale that this girl yeah it's like sucking all this power up your power I'm here to take it and she will uh, see about that Bahamas already under our control the hell would follow the Adolans who are you don't worry about it oh no Petrified. So yeah, she took command of Leviathan and Ashura. <clears throat> so Bahamai got the same uh, same treatment. The Dolan's shackled. Oh damn! Didn't even teleport all the way out. Just <laughs> sent her to the teleporter what just happened oh no snap out of it are you all right oh no she's been completely petrified who who would do something like this right get away from here really uh some items. I believe, we, again, we still get all the items from Seador. Oh, we don't! Oh, no. I'm still level 80, though, which is nice. And, yeah. So looks like we don't get all the items from the previous tales. I wonder if... Nah. 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 <laughs> Look at her stance. She's, she's standing like that because we went to the menu. Or was it? That was interesting. She had like a stance going on there. Very uh, 
cutesy pose. Would you help me? Phoenix down. Yeah, so gaining levels in this game is good because per level you have a chance to upgrade stats. And even then, it's already mapped out. Like, they've already programmed it to increase certain stats at certain intervals. But, um, it seems that, um, again, the major buffs come from equipment, uh, weapons and armor. So, even though I'm level 80, I'm not, like, super overpowered. Read it, you're okay. I'm not super overpowered, but. Where do I want to go? I think I want to go deeper. Oh, isn't this deeper? Yeah, this is deeper. Into the... Oh, can't. Can't be that. Dolan Queen and Queen Ashra too? Wait. Oh, that is where you come from, actually, if you're playing the main game. Maybe this one's the way to get deeper into the... City. Yep. You came back to see us, Rydia. And then this happens. I was just about to go on a date. How sad. I think they're all, yep, in this bombs petrified. I can't see anything. I can't hear anything. I feel like my heart's slowly coming to a stop. Ooh, that's, that's what petrification does, and that's why you get a game over when your team's petrified. So everyone slowly dies, which is pretty dark, actually, now that I think about it. Really at my heart, it hurts. So sad. She's not a white mage either, so she can't do any uh, white magic to heal these people. She's a pig, but <laughs> I'm just gonna petrify pig. It's not gonna help anybody. Why? Why are they after us, Idolins? Uh, Is our king safe? I'm pretty sure these are the same storybooks from the vanilla game. They just ported it over. Ooh, Coca-Cola or... Help me, I feel myself fading away. She ran <gasps> Oh no! Video, why did you return? I'm sorry, Rydia. You should be in the land of the humans, not here. Your Majesty, Your Highness. This is all my fault. I came back here despite your warnings, and now look what I've caused. Flashbacks. Let's see, her original village of mist got destroyed. No more. I don't want to lose anyone else anymore. Never again. Let's get out of here. Uh, not sure where I'm supposed to go. Ready to get away from here. The old game is supposed to be a safe place here. Yep, there it is. I haven't really done anything, but I guess I'll save just to skip all the cutscenes. Huh. Why did they give me a tutorial when we've played the other one? I don't know. We haven't played a full game already. Chocobo. How am I supposed to conduct business like this? Pretty a hurry, run to a safe place. Alright, so I guess I can try to leave. See if I get stopped or something. I think I even want to take the uh, full exit out instead of this blue one that only takes us back to the 
Um, I'm not sure what it's called. Road of... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it's called. I'm going to try to take this one out. I wonder if it matters if I took this one or the other one. I'm going to get some... Yay, treasure. Ice rod or dry ether. High potion. And money. So I'm going to get us that. Ice rod or... I feel like it might be better to just auto attack with the whip. Oh, I can only get out from the uh, blue teleporter. These red ones only change levels, but I need to get out of the Fey March. I need to tell everyone about this as quickly as I can. Oh, geez, you gotta make me run all the way out. I don't have float. Oh, maybe the uh, lava, yeah. Lava dried up. Oh, there's items everywhere. I have to search for items. Which I probably shouldn't actually search for items because I am pretty buff being level 80. But I just can't help it. Yeah, it does suck that it doesn't show um, treasure chests on the map. I don't want to explore too much if I don't have to. Monsters! Oh. Wait, oh, yeah, I can't summon because they're all. Um. Yep. Oh, I don't appear. They're all petrified, so. They aren't an even answering me. So how can they if they're all. <laughs> petrified? Eat a fire in the face. <laughs> oh, that must be a scripted battle, actually. Hang on, my dear Dolans. I promise I'll save every one of you. Safe place for no reason. Let's just try to get out. I'll probably go up just to potentially get a treasure chest that will probably only give me an item. Uh, I'll try to do that to see if he'll kill everything. If he doesn't kill anything, I should probably use like bio or something level 2. But it kills everything, so yeah. I'll just keep doing fire to everything. I'm kind of tempted to put it on auto battle. Because maybe it will automatically cast it to everybody. But there's no guarantee it would, so I guess it's going to be the trial. So we do fire, but will she fire everybody? Yes. So I just auto do it. And she'll just cast magic to everybody. It's nice. Makes it a lot faster. Bronze hourglass. But yeah, you can only imagine. How uh, difficult it would be on just a regular new game when Rydia is like low level. And she doesn't have any summonings either. And her mana pool is probably very small. Oh, this is the front door, I think. Yep. 
passage of the Eidolon's entrance. Luca? Falcon's gone too. Where did they go? Oh, it's a zoo! Zoo! They need to leave it on auto battle. Oh, 66 damage. 61 damage. How do you get to attack twice? I can't do anything! <laughs> Uh, scripted. Luca. Haha, <laughs> looks like you could use a favor right now, Lydia. Princess of the Dwarves, Luca. Where did you come from? The sky, of course. I was so bored that I went to make a few engine improvements. I'm just testing them out now. Master Sid's going to give me a full engineer's license once he sets his eyes on this. A smile. That's great, Luca, but what about the Crystal Doran Castle? Is it safe? The crystal? What's that all about? Or, what's that about all of a sudden? We have trouble, Luca. I knew something was up. Oh, what do you mean? I said that I was out on a test flight, but that's not the only reason I'm here. Something's definitely up. You can tell from how the number of monsters suddenly multiplied out of nowhere. So I thought it'd be a good idea for me to take the Falcon out on a patrol. I'm impressed your father allowed you to do that. He doesn't really know about it. <laughs> Getting him to let me be an engineer as an apprentice was painful enough. That sounds more like the King Yacht I know. I'll say that much. Oh. Oh no. Looks like some more Red Wings BS. Because <laughs> that definitely looks like a Red Wings ship. But then again, if you remember from Theodore's. Oh no! Uh, Theodore's tale that Cecil got. It's like brainwashed or manipulated somehow, so it wouldn't surprise me. Was that the Red Wings? Hurry! Let go! Get on, Rydia! No script you're flying to? Father, are you alright? My stars! That's what I want you to ask you, Luca. I'm blundering around on that airship of yours, but never fear. My fortress was built to withstand, withstand oh, to stand strong against bombing assaults as feeble as that one. It is good to see you again, King Yot. Ah, welcome, Lydia. It has been ages. The Crystal Father, is it safe? We weren't able to protect it. It was taken by just a lone young woman, no less. What? That was no 
ordinary girl, though. She wielded the exact same powers as yours, Rydia. <clears throat> she can summon too. Same powers, Rydia? You mean she can control Eidolons? That's correct. She used that power to shrug off my most battle hardened dwarf, uh, dwarven guards and snatch away the crystal with ease. How could something like this happen? And why are the Red Wings involved in this? Where's Sid? You hardly need to worry about that man, Luca. He is as stout and hardy as any dwarf I have ever met. Something's happened to Cecil and to Baron, I'm sure of it. There's no other reason or explanation to why they bombed this castle without reason. The wars of the past are about to spring forth anew. That much I fear is certain. Their forces already have three of the dark crystals in their hands. So the last crystal is... In the sealed cave. Father, I'm going to the sealed cave. Luca, you already put yourself through enough danger. If you go there... Oh, Father, I'll be fine. We aren't going alone anyways. What? What? <laughs> Besides, the only way to get in this... Uh, to get in is with this necklace I have, right? I want to be the one who uses it this time. It's all I have left of Mother. Luca. Yeah, last time we had to borrow it. So our party can get in, but... I never thought I had raised such a stubborn child. Like father, like daughter, you know. Just remember to be careful. The Tower of Babel has been glowing ominously for days. And I fear that this is only the beginning. Rydia, make sure my daughter doesn't get into any trouble. Trouble. Yes, Your Majesty. And I'll be here to help you out, Rydia. My dear ladies, please do not overextend yourselves. We've enjoyed peace for many years. But now I'm afraid the time has come to reinforce our defenses. Uh, actually, let me see if I can actually uh, buy stuff from there. I don't have money though, so I'm probably not. So let's see if I can buy gear. I went the wrong way. It's the infirmary, it's the bar, it's the big chocobo. In the pots that I found warrior's clothes. Rain a potion. Rain a potion. So I just happened <laughs> to uh, come across that. Let's see. Crescent axe. Could get bad accuracy. I do have whip already, so I don't need this. You <laughs> notice. Formation chance to paralyze. That's okay. Iron, iron, iron. Oh, that's too much. Don't worry about it. Plus, we're again high level, so let's not worry about gear and stuff like that. Let's just get through it. I will only put the warriors close because I found it. Where's the warrior's clothes then? What? They just find something that's obsolete for me? <laughs> so why have it? Is it to sell? Let's not worry about it. Alright, let's go ahead and get up in the ship after I pop a quick save. Oh wow. So I can see that uh, you don't use Luca after this little segment. These two. I told you we weren't alone, didn't I? These are Kalka and Brina. They'll be a huge help to us this time, I'm sure of it. Mechanical doll boy and mechanical doll girl. So those were actually boss fights in the previous game because they got corrupted. But now. More of Sid's work. I fixed them up actually. My airship expertise gets me a pretty long way with these things. Now then, let's do it, Tamra. 
If you can't sell my Dolans, then you're gonna need some new equipment. And fast. I suppose so. But I'm also level 80, so it doesn't matter. Onwards! Off we go! Falcon away! <laughs> they dance just like the those dolls. Right. Will it auto fly for us? Nope, we have to fly ourselves. But that's fine. Um, I believe Kalka is a. Uh... Oh, that's why we got Warriors close. This. Ooh, that's a lot of strength, bo oh, boost. Boost. From that. So that's pretty nice. Oh, she's a melee ish girl, too. Let me double check to see if. Oh, they don't have magic or anything. Wait. What are you then? Are you both melee peoples? Jive. Cause great effects on enemies. Way of dance. I mean, I'll probably just auto do stuff. Oops. Dance. Oh, hmm. so that's the best case, isn't really the only caster. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see. Anyway, let's go to the CLK. I believe it's down this way. No need to uh, do extra. Wait. Do I remember this place? Oh, what town is this? You arrived in the village of Tomra, you have. Wait. Did I not visit this town last time? Sunrise. I think I'm okay. I don't need to really buy anything. This village has been through a lot since we started trading with the overworld. It's like a big city now. I think I forgot to visit this place in the, my, fir, er, my recent FF4 playthrough. Which I didn't even know this place existed. This is a book. Nope, this block is fine. Let's check this equipment area. Or stuff up here. Welcome. I think they're able to hold two daggers, is that how it is? Because I think they're... No, they have knives, actually. So now they have daggers. Use to unleash an outline onto attack. Effective against demons. Use the cat's blizzard. Why is ice good against demons? You think fire would be? Let's go equip some stuff. I probably shouldn't even bought the flame rock, but that's okay. Can I buy something else? I forgot. No, I just bought two knives, or two daggers, and a flame rod, which I shouldn't have bought that flame rod. Looking back, that's okay. Let him. Reset hat. I think it's just by the wizard hat and be down with it. Oh, I didn't realize <laughs> the weapon and armor shop was connected through a hidden uh, tunnel door. Try your chest, you won't find any of those here, girl. No way, no how. This is a warehouse, pure and simple. But with a bunch of stuff in the pods, probably. Yep, yep. Coca Cola oil. Oil. <laughs> or. Okay, here we come. Should be right here. Let's save again. All right, let's get up in there. Thank goodness, the seal's still intact until we go in. 
You made it in time. I sure hope so. What? For the Red Wings threw their full firepower into it, they might be able to break the seal by brute force. What are we waiting for? Alright, let's go. Open says me! Brandish style the seal unraveling mark, and the path to Dark Crystal shall open. Luca used her necklace. <laughs> that's like the, uh, if you forget your password, that's like the hint. <laughs> We've got to get our hands on the crystal first. And then what? Then we go to Overworld with the Falcon. We'll let the boss and everyone know about this. Are we really ready for this? Yep, we'll show them what my master's Falcon can do. Besides, I'm sure you're worried about Cecil and the rest, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, okay, I forgot the seal cave is it's intricate. I'm gonna try not to uh, get too exploration heavy. As I go explore this, I'm pretty sure this is like a not a fake room, but a room that only gives treasure at the very most. Yep. Of course, there's snakes. Oh, nice. Only oh, sold one of us down. Hammer power. That's a lot of experience. Pretty much I'm hoping the mass fire will kill everything, but that might not be the case, but... Let's go ahead and put her in front, actually. Brina. So I believe they have the same stats. Just one has uh, Warrior's Clothes while the other one doesn't. So let's see here. Order... Granted, radio could be in front too, but we can't have everybody in front row for some reason. It's not that kind of game. I guess that's kind of interesting. I guess you'll always have mages and warriors. At least those uh, kind of roles where you don't want certain people up front. Let's just go forward. Pretty sure I could have explored and found some treasure chests, but again, it's not really too necessary. But I just can't resist the urge to uh, explore. Actually, increase it so I do. Ooh. Just gonna watch that. I increase it so I'm doing bio instead of fire. Or at least level 2 stuff. The door attack! Let's see. 
15 versus 20. Big throw. Dance. Jive. Yeah. Oh yeah. I should really set up my auto. Who made this close? Auto ability. Oh, what? What do you mean I can't wear mage's clothes? We're doing mage stuff right here. She doesn't have any magic, though. So why. What? <laughs> I don't understand. Well, I can't radio wear the mage clothes. She's the one gonna be casting all the spells. I guess I can actually just go ahead and change that. Just keep us in the back row then since Brina's no attack damage whatsoever. Mainly because she's not wearing like warrior's clothes. Oh. I forgot that I came from here. That's okay. I should put Brina on dance then. Because she can't really do anything. So nice. I think eventually she'll be able to cast stuff, maybe? I don't know. And it's empty room, of course. Pretty sure one of these doors will attack, and behind that door, this one, will be the one that uh, actually has something. Oh, yes. So there's probably something back here. It's been protected by a door. Yep. Battle axe. Wow. <laughs> I love how it just decreases all intellect and all that, but gives you a bunch of strength. Eventually, I'll just have to use uh, Osmos. But... Bomb fragment. Yeah, 
What's this? Bomb crank. Oh, what the hell are you? Oh, I sapped. Fire! Fire! Just attack all of us. So I saw that correctly. I think I'm going to go ahead and use 10 actually. I'm using a lot of magic. <clears throat> Though I probably should just use Osmos, actually, instead of wasting a tent. But That door screwed me up. Do a dance. Now I wonder, when we finish this area, do we have to um, walk all the way out, or can we just like teleport out? Let's just wait and see. Like casting death. Cottage. Phoenix it down. I really thought I remembered that the dolls did magic. Or at least the girl doll, Brina, did magic. Oh, no, the coal oil. oil. <laughs> But I guess I was mistaken or something. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I think that's a fake uh, rope going down. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's a caught going down there. Idiot. But I'm gonna fall for that trap again. Door attacks. Powered up at night or full moon during the full moon. Right. I guess I do get the same stats. It's just I get the male boy, Kalka. A uh, doll, I mean. He has a. Um, he has a. Uh, Warrior's clothes on, so he has a buff attack. Clothes if you have no magic to be Majin with. Right. That makes no sense. <laughs> like, I would, you know, put her in a mage outfit, but she has no uh, actual mage abilities. It also seems like I do have to go down that rope. Because <clears throat> this path doesn't lead to anywhere. Really suck. Churches. So it's the jokes on me. This was actual uh, way down. Boxes everywhere. I think I remember this. It's kind of hoping for equipment, actually. And then we got Kakal or the game.
think I'm just gonna save, but I won't use the tent again. <clears throat> Honestly, this is probably where I should have used the tent. Instead of earlier, but... This is the place where the those fake ropes going down. I don't remember. We have make off Rhea. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the, uh, what's it called? Death's something? Death wall? Team Dark Crystal. Now it's time to get jumped, probably. Oh, by the same enemy? The door? Demon door. Yep, it's back for more. A wall? I had a feeling this would happen. It's kind of funny how they recycled this boss, but that's okay. Then again, they recycled every single enemy in this game, so it makes sense that they would also recycle theirs. Really good. Too bad I don't really need it though. But normally that'll be pretty much the best thing that could happen. I think there's some flare. Nope. <laughs> That's the power of already being high level. Good job, Kalka and Brina. We are the best. <laughs> they probably have mechanical voices too. It's in I find it interesting how they would do voice acting in this game. Because if you did in the previous game, why not do it in this one? At least for the characters you already had voice acting in the previous game. But, oh well. I feel like I'm making them walk all the way out like they did the last time. I wanted to have shit go down because obviously <laughs> it seems like it's pretty much the last game part two <laughs> which I guess what sequels are but I'm, I mean like pretty much exactly how things happen is what's going down It was funny, I could get a spoiler on how long it would take for me to complete this. Because I look at the other save file, look at the time, and then shave off like half an hour maybe. <laughs> at most. Because, again, I'm high level, so. It's really rare for me to struggle anywhere. This door, I think it's the next door. That's the way out, yeah. Yeah, when I go to play Final Fantasy V, I'm gonna debate. Well, I'm gonna first check to see if there's a new game plus feature where you kind of like keep the stuff. But if there is, I might play that on new game plus. Plus, plus. Um, because I feel like I should have played. Uh, Final Fantasy 4 on New Game Plus because I haven't done it yet so I don't really know what to expect 
course it'll be, you know, lots of times easier. Though I do know that you do start from level, you know, the basic level. So level 5, I think, whatever. But you get to keep pretty much all your items and gear, so... Um, it will still be a lot quicker. You also keep your augments. So, uh, Cecil has the level lust ability, so you'll level up a lot quicker. And, you know, all of the party members that you, like, yeah, choose to, or that you will have. Mm -hmm. So the next time I play through, I'll definitely do New Game Plus, unless I just totally forget <laughs> about me talking about this right now, but, um, because mm -hmm. half of the reason why these games take forever is because you just sit and grind sometimes, but if you already have it all, you know, maxed out or at least have a way to have it quicker then yeah it's definitely uh cuts the game time in half oh yeah just having flashbacks to what happened last time Kane don't listen resist him it's alright I I'm back in control of myself bitch slap <laughs> that's funny he took the crystal. I can't believe it. Ready, what's wrong? I see you saved me the trouble. She's back. So you're one of the last surviving summoners? You're the one behind what happened to the Idolans. The likes of you don't deserve either the Adolans or the Crystals. Wow, that's harsh. Who asked you? There's one who's far more worthy of the Crystals. Get back, bitch. <laughs> Imagine again if these uh, kind of robot dolls had like voices. They were like very AI sounding. Kalka, Brina. Shit, <laughs> got hit by Thundaga. Systems failing. These ridiculous toys, what a waste of time. Now, hand over the crystal. I won't let you have it. Too bad. You get hit by Thundaga too. Lost the dark crystal. Damn. Video. With this, all four dark crystals are back in our hands. Our hands? Wait. Nope. Your lives are not my concern. Damn, hit her with the electric shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vidya, you alright? Luca, what happened to the crystal? I'm sorry, Vidya. We need to hurry before they get their hands on the overworld crystals, too. Kalka, Brina. Thank you, you two. You are kinder to us than we ever deserved. Well, we can fix them, right? I'm going to repair you, I promise. That's what I'm talking about. That girl didn't even pretend to take us seriously. Well, I mean, if we're weak, then we're weak, you know? Huh? She didn't lay so much as a finger on the falcon. Yeah, and she didn't kill us when she had the chance. Which obviously is good. So it's not even worth her to kill us, or her time to kill us. Doesn't look like it. Well, we'll show her. Quickly, to the overworld. To the overworld. So I'm pretty sure the other thing I can go to is the silk, silk cave, or sif cave, silk cave. Yeah, silk cave. But 
And I'm like, eh. It's alright. Let's just get this done. Luca, where are we off to next? We'll head south until we reach the north northern coast of Baron. They won't expect us to sneak in from the rear. The real question is what we're we gonna be doing, which is just the two of us and our dolls. <laughs> What's that over there? A black chocobo? What's a black chocobo doing? Palum? That's not Porum. Whoever it is with him. No, it did look like a girl, though. Well, that's sneak. After all that sweet talk he gave me! <laughs> oh, pal. Oh. Are they back to normal? Kalka, Brina. Oh, they're renegade. I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad that you're not hurt. We're not hurt. But you're about to be. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Look at the weakest crap. And they miss. Kalka, Brina. Stop it, both of you. That lightning strike. The behavior circus must have gone haywire. Ouch. Luca, we can't keep this up. Don't lay a finger on them, Rhea. What? Okay, let me just deal with them. Alright, let's be finishing ourselves. Lightning? When'd you learn that? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Stop cheating. So, when did you guys learn these moves? Big throw. Eat shit, bitch! Who are, uh, <laughs> Blaze? <laughs> so when did they learn these moves? Bitch, said eat, shit. Right, finish him. I should probably just auto attack actually. Tsunami! <laughs> Why the hell? <laughs> so where did you learn that? Did no damage. Hiya! Uh, uh. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Damn. You are defeated. Luca. Uh oh. Getting shot at, girl! Cannon fire! <laughs> Luca's so mopey. He's like, but we get shot at. It's the Red Barons. Or the Red Wings, I mean. Baron. It's the Red Wings. They're trying to shoot us down. Lucas, like, let them. They're taking everything away from me. Say, like, girl, hey, pull yourself together. We ain't done yet. We're losing altitude. Uh, I'm pretty sure the two dolls, Kalka and Brina, are pretty much substitutes for Column and Coral. Time for emergency landing then! Uh, mithril. Is this Mithril? It's not Mithril. Might be Mithril. Can't be Mithril. What town is this? I forget. Mm, yeah. Luca? Luca? I'm okay. Luca. Kalka, Brina, I'm sorry.
We took some serious damage. Do you think we can fix it? Just who do you think I am? Huh? I'm Sid, the airship man. <laughs> That's what they call me. Just let me at that thing. I'll gear up back in the jiffy. That's what your master would be saying right now. Right about now, isn't it? You're right. See? There you go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we need to find some parts for the repairs first. Alright, let's go. I'm sorry, Kalka. I'm sorry, Brina. Oops. I don't think there's anything on the ship, right? I think we just go to uh, the city that's nearby. Hmm, the question is, what are we looking for? Agart. The village of Agart. What are we looking for? I heard an airship crash nearby. Hopefully everyone on board is alright. So you're talking to them, actually. The rumors say that Baron is collecting all the world's crystals. I wonder how much truth there is to that. The telescope is upstairs. There are two moons in the sky, you know. And just my luck, my telescope is broken right now, too. How sad. Here. I'm not sure where we're supposed to find these. That's the elevate parts, but <laughs> uh, extra parts. It's kind of funny because we're like pretty much doing everything backwards from what we were doing before. Are are you a dwarf? Hey ho! Nothing like that fresh overworld air, eh? I wonder if I should be playing as Luca, because that makes more sense, because everyone's talking to her as if. You know, once a long ago, I was with the dwarves and blah 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 blah. Hey, you! I knew it! You were listening to me, you whippersnapper! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Blah 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 blah. They say some really nasty monsters show up in the Agart mine when the moon only shows it's something. something. If you go into the mine during the waning moon, you should be prepared for the worst. Any new armor I can buy? No, Nature Circus, which is Smitter. Steel, Chain, Silver, Rune. Steel. Sage and bitter. It's crazy how expensive equipment is. Eh. <laughs> oh, what you give me the dagger? Keep the rod on. Because we're doing magic. Magic must defeat everything else. Let's see what you got. Thunder Rod, Thorn Whip, Boom. I don't have enough money for that actually. I don't know if I have enough money for this. Yeah, I don't even know if that increases uh, intellect at all. Let's just take a peek. It doesn't, but I'll equip it anyways. Must be a place where I can get this airship part they want me to get. I think last time we come here, there's actually a treasure chest in this little room. Right. So I did not find a single anything that resembles airship parts or anything. Not Agar's famous volcano around these parts. Miners have dug up all kinds of mineral from its depths. 
That's why it's packed with monsters, so make sure to go without. Oh, there's probably a mine nearby, actually. So let me actually go there. A Gart mine. Must be nearby. Must be right outside. Oh yeah, there it is. I think that's a new level. I don't think it used to be there in the previous game. Let's go ahead and go then. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Whoops. Walked into the hitbox of the town. Alright, let's do this. I wonder if I should not have bought anything. Except I would just gotten it in here. I guess we'll wait and see. Set this weak against holy magic. Not that I have any, but if I did, I would have used it. Mm. So, oh, the thunder rod's like an actual like lightning bolt. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, looks like up till now, Kalka and Brina get to level around 20. And that's how far I got him last time. And you probably never use them again, actually. I think we're getting the waning moon, and so we're gonna come across some that dangerous monsters it's like this particular mob. But uh, nothing I really can't stop. I'm gonna unnecessarily look for treasure chests. Arctic wind. kind of funny now that I think about it. I wonder if um, pretty much how you train your dolls because they attack you later, right? And so I'm assuming they have the same stats that you had uh, initially equipped them with. Does that make sense? So say if I just kept them with basic uh, weapons and armor, they would just be super weak. And also if I had never really leveled them up, they died then these <laughs> are dead. So they never leveled up. Um, when we do go to fight them on you know, the airship after escaping the underworld, that they just keep that same stats. So leveling up actually becomes a detriment to us, which is kind of funny now that I think about it. If that is the case, I'm pretty sure I can research if I wanted to, and it'll tell me if that is the uh, true case between or uh, about Kalka and Brina. Say that's a, a healing font. That means there's a boss battle coming up. I'm ready for this boss battle 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 battle. battle. <laughs> and then they give you a cottage, what? Makes no sense. Big old dragon. That is a big old dragon. Okay. <laughs> if it wasn't dead, I was gonna analyze it the next time. Like that's a big old enemy. Try it either. Yeah, again, it sucks that I don't have a white mage. I pretty much never would have had a white mage because. Ooh, Mythal Ruffs. Uh, Brina never had any white magic, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I still find that really weird that there's no uh, white mage in the party. Oh, 
if I can, uh, where is it? Can break this guy. What is weak against? He's weak against nothing. It's just a little viable. I think I'm gonna uh, go back and heal. So there's like a whole nother half of that cavern I can go explore. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and do it just because of the treasure. As long as these fights go by fast, it doesn't matter. I'll take the long trek around. I also realized that we didn't ever leveled up yet. Oh, <laughs> she needs 105,000 experience, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to level up with these kind of enemies. This kind of experience. It's kind of sad though, because I can still actually get wiped. Because Ridia really, again is not like a true, ta oh. <laughs> true tank. So, you know, she's pretty much AP carry, if you want to think of that in league terms. She can't take damage that well. Alright. Are we still lame if there's no charge chest down here? But I believe... I believe that the game won't do me like that. Don't do me like that. for black magic. So intellect is for black magic, spirit is for white magic, I believe. That's the trade-off. My must emerges from the chest. So you get for exploring a guard tortoise. Okay, I'm pretty sure as we can get ice. So let's go ahead and get the ice. Yeah. It is not weak against ice. I'm gonna do it bio then. Oh shoot! You can counter ice magic. The fire magic is overflowing. Flamethrower! <sighs> yeah, not that much damage. I was a little afraid there. You need ice magic when you have poison magic. No blaze. Blaze is like my bane. And like other. <laughs> okay. I really hate that. Like, they only give you like a very small window to do something to like counter what they're about to do. But you don't have time to actually do it. So like, what's the point of having it? I guess though I should have thrown the Arctic Wind. But. Uh... I didn't think about it actually. 
so that's my fault. My fault. Oh, the ore's in here, though. Yeah. A Gartite. <laughs> what kind of name is that? That's okay. Okay. I bet we can repair the Falcon with this. Let's go back and try. So I see that there's like more of the dungeon to go through, so maybe I should do that. I bet you. No, no, no. I was gonna say like that room would have could have been like Oh, it's actually 100 HP in this game. Freaking vanilla is just 50, right? No, it was 100. Yeah, that would have been dumb if it was uh, 50 HP. Just on one of these Final Fantasy's potions healed for fi uh, 50 damage, or 50 HP, instead of 50, or uh, 100, like it should normally do. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil myself to see how much longer I have. But I do think it's gonna be done pretty quick. Like how much more I need to play through this particular story. I should have tried going through that door up there first to see where it goes. Because <clears throat> I didn't think uh, that treasure chest to the right of this room was uh, what I was looking for this whole time. Treasure room I could have gotten to with that. Ooh, that adamantite. Without having to uh, go all the way back around. So that's it in this room. Let's go all the way back out. Boom, boom, boom. Attack! Hmm, triple seven. Jackpot. Too bad I don't have emergency exit. Just warp out of here. Our use. Is Calcambrina back for more vengeance? Man, just lighting <laughs> Luca up. It's okay, they are defeated. Bye. You are defeated. That's like a regular enemy, too. Mithril Spring. It's a Mithril Spring. Spring made from Mithril. Well, obviously. I wonder if it's, uh, like an item I can use to heal the two dolls. I do love how the uh, healing font is right there. Hmm. And even then, you had to interact with the dolls to fight them. So you would run up and see that they're there. And then you can choose to fight right then or go back and grind if you had to. Let's 
say that here. Alright then, time to get to work. Let me help you. Oh, the lagging. Lagging repair. This doesn't look good. What is it? The damage is a lot worse than I thought. I can't fix it with what I have at hand. You're kidding me. If we can't get the Falcon back in shape, we'll be stuck here. <laughs> I know, okay? I'm sorry. Wait, you aren't thinking about salvaging the parts from Kalka and Brina's bodies, are you? That's why they never appeared again. I don't have any other choice. That's the only way for me to get this falcon off the ground. Luca, you can't do this. But, I mean, you just build another set. You grew up with these guys. You've known them since childhood. Can't you use these? Or the mithril swings? <laughs> this is perfect. Not just for the falcon, but I can use these to fake Kalka and Brina to what? <laughs> you only have two of these. Really? Yes, thank you, Radian. I mean, weren't we in the same fight? Like, couldn't have she have seen that there are mithril springs in these dolls that we fought? And I'll help, too. We can repair this ship together. Alright. Falcon is back. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> uh oh. An earthquake? Why is this the ground shaking? Uh oh. What are you? Is that Titan? That is Titan. Guy is rad. Damn, if you're not like strong enough to withstand that, you're like, oh. Titan, it's me, Rydia. Titan, I guard is in mortal danger. Titan, please, you've got to wake up. I'll make you wake up. Some bio first. Damn. Damage. The damage, no, what? We're not supposed to kill it. That's fine. Please, no, Titan, no. Oh no, Titan, please. Wait, what? Is that not supposed to kill it? Oh, you gonna die. I feel like I'm not supposed to kill it, but I'm like sitting here killing it. No, you don't care. Ah. So I get you the flare then. Fool. Should have stayed where you were it was. Now you finna die. Ooh. Oh he didn't die. He's not dead yet. He's gonna auto do this. Oh, scripted. Man in black. Oh this guy. <laughs> he just uses jump out of nowhere. Alright. Scripted battles. They definitely throw me for a loop if it's scripted like that, because like Especially if you play for the first time, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to happen. But yeah, this guy. So we don't know who he is the first time through, but no, I played already, so I know who this guy is. Who are you? He's like some tribal, like, Spartan like dude out of nowhere. But we need to go. The tower awaits. The Tower of Babel. Yep. It has reactivated itself. <sighs> the 
The horrors of the past come to visit us again. Who are you, really? <laughs> Flashback time. I know exactly. Oh, it's over. Ridia's Tale, the Idolan Shackled. Once again, that's the end of Ridia's Tale. Let's say a little prologue, epilogue. Epilogue. Is that it? That's it. <laughs>